Hey there, Tony Policastro here with the acoustic letter brought to you by Music Villa. Today, we have a, well, we got a, bona a bonanza today. A bonanza of, of proportions that are only relatable to the banjo. We can call it a banjo bonanza, if you will. What we're going to do today is compare the Deering Good Time 2 to the Deering Good Time Classic open back banjo. These two banjos I recommend often, and I love them. So I want to play the two back to back. But first, I want to make sure that you stick around to the end of the video and sign up for the acoustic letter. Just for signing up today, I'm going to send you my personal gear list for free. On to this banjo bonanza of epic proportions. What we have today in my right hand is the Deering Good Time 2 Resonator Banjo. And in my left hand, the Deering Good Time Classic Open Back Banjo. Now, these banjos look very different aesthetically. The Classic is done in a nice rich brown finish. It has planetary tuners. The Good Time 2 is a blonde finish and it has regular guitar tuners. But that's not what I'm really here to discuss today. These banjos at heart are actually pretty much the same except for one major thing. The Good Time 2, the blonde finish one, has a resonator, while the Classic is completely open back. Now, both of these banjos have a three-ply maple rim. Both have nickel-plated parts, proprietary Good Time tailpiece. Both have a maple neck. Both have the fiddle-style peg head. Both have an inch and a quarter black tusk nut. There are some small differences, as I mentioned before. The Classic has a brown finish and planetary tuners, while the Good Time 2 has a blonde finish and has guitar tuners. But what I really, really want to express here is the true difference that the Resonator offers and makes between these two different banjos. Now, traditionally, bluegrass would be played on a Resonator banjo, and old time or frailing style would be done on an open back banjo. But oftentimes, I get students and, and people just asking, what's really the difference here? because we have the open back, which oftentimes is a little bit less expensive, and we have the resonator, which is a little bit more expensive. And although there's a price difference, there's an inherent sound difference. Because the resonator reflects the sound forward, we're gonna get a lot of cut and a lot of projection out of it, whereas the open back is gonna have a more mellow, kind of a, dare I say, muffled, but not in a bad way, sound. So, oftentimes I'll recommend, if you're into bluegrass banjo, go for the resonator. If you're in an old time banjo, go for the open back. If you don't know, you can actually pick either one. Because what I'm gonna do is play the two for you so you can hear the difference between them and make the decision for yourself. Don't forget to sign up for the acoustic letter today. It's the quickest way to get pricing and photos of all of these instruments, and it will ensure that you never miss a review. Just for signing up today, I'm gonna to send you my personal gear list for free. Because as a guitar reviewer, people always ask me what I play. And in looking at that gear list, most everything I got on there was from Music Villa. Now, I am biased because they're right around the corner from me, but these guys are awesome. They know their stuff, they're actual musicians, and their inventory ranges from all the classic models on up through custom instruments. So the next time you're in the market for an acoustic guitar, give these guys a shout. Go to their website at AcousticLetter.com to see their full inventory, or give them a call at 406-587-4761. Thanks a lot for checking them out. 